My Top 10 Shoes of 2023 Jordan 1 Low Concords Icy Bottoms Until You Walk in Them Damn Chicago Split Dunks Premium Comes with Premium Leather Quality Major Flaw Red Bleeds Into the White Leather Dam Nike SB Dunk Pro Low Gum Bottom Easy to clean until those 501 jeans ink rubs on them damn. Good quality leather, good cushioning in the back heel also air pocket in the heel insole. Jordan 1 Enter the Spider-Verse In my opinion, Miles Morales should have wore these. Bottoms glow in the dark. Sold out shoe on release day. Copped early for personals yo. Jordan 1 Mid Space Jam. I see outsole gets dirty easily. However the patent leather looks so dope on these mids. Come on and slam welcome to the jam. Jordan 5 UNC. I see soles hard to get on release day. Premium new buck leather. However this clean style comes at a risk of fading overtime due to the material. Drove over an hour to cop. Also sold out on release day. Jordan 5 Amamani. Pale gray leather upper with a slimmed down collar and yellowed quarter panel netting additional embroidered. 23 feet on the lateral heel. Nike Air branding on the back heel and mismatched Jumpman and a logos on each silver reflective tongue. These are unique and yes they really gray. Jordan 1 UNC. Super hard to get one of the year no cap. Mofos was dealing with bots. Super simple og colorway blocking all leather means it's easy to clean. Actually bought these half a size bigger and traded for a true to size. For some reason this the second hated Jordan 1 of 2023. The Air Jordan 3 White Cement is a shoe that Michael Jordan wore during the 1988 NBA All-Star Slam Dunk Contest. The shoe was first released in 1988. Jordan 11 Gratitude, aka DMP 11s. Been waiting for these all year long. Quality upper leather. Gold Jumpman logo and gold checkered carbon fiber plate. Major flaw leather creases easily. To the real sneakerheads that doesn't matter thanks for watching.